Today's trip goes anything but smoothly. As our hunt for snowdrifts come to a dramatic end when the transmission decides to fail. Leaving us stuck in the snow and the winch the only way out. Uh, so I'm stuck. Do we eventually make it out? You'll just have to watch and see. What is up? And well, welcome back to the beautiful ghost wilderness. As you guys know, we are pretty familiar with this place. We've done lots of exploring and well, we're gonna be doing lots more exploring today in the Subaru Forester because well, it is a little bit warmer. It's actually got quite a bit warmer and there's a little bit more snow. I don't wanna say there's a ton more snow because honestly, it seems to have drifted and it's like quite sticky actually because it's five degrees now. It went from minus 40 in our last video to five degrees, so it's quite sticky. Um, but I think we are going to go ahead and I want to play with the Forester and see, well, if we can get it stuck and if we can get it stuck, how can we get it out? Obviously, we're with some other people. Um, they've already found some snow banks over there. Um, Austin Lee, YYC Overland in a brand new Jeep Gladiator or another Jeep Gladiator and then Austin in the other Jeep. So that's kind of what we're looking at today for today's adventure. Um, as I said, we've been down here so much. If you wanna see the journey into this beautiful place, I would definitely recommend some checking out some of my older adventure videos. I've just kind of stopped recording that road because honestly, you'll see it in certain videos where I want to talk about that, but in other videos where today we're hopefully just kind of getting stuck and having a little bit of fun, I'm not gonna show it. So let's go ahead, try to find a snowdrift and try to get stuck in the Forester. Venturing into the valley in pursuit of the deep snowdrifts, we didn't have to search for long. Nice. As Lee discovered a large windswept snowdrift that even the gladiator couldn't conquer. But after a series of pulls, the gladiator was free and it was my turn to go get stuck. Making it through the first snowdrift took some maneuvering, but the Forster powered right through. Looking for a fresh snowdrift, I steered clear of the existing tracks. And although it involves some back and forth, the all-wheel drive system pushed through. And in a matter of minutes, the Forster was over on the rocks on the other side. So, I aimed myself for the same snowdrift that had swallowed the Gladiator. And while it was slow, I was making progress. Well, until I found myself spinning tires and stuck. But that was going to be the least of my problems. Um, so I'm stuck and my car kind of just threw a code, uh, but it's not a check engine light. It's something different. It's the ATF light is <laughs> blinking. So that's 
slightly concerning now that I'm stuck in the snowbank. And so when I was bouncing around here in the rocks, that's when it turned up. Me and Austin just checked the fluids. There's no fluids leaking. So I didn't, I have a transmission skid plate, so I can't see that. It's not diff skid plate because well, there's no diff temp sensor in this. So I don't know what that is. I pull, put my scan code on here and what it's saying is it's saying it's a E1, it's a, a trans control unit E1, which is a P0778. A, solenoid B electrical malfunction. So maybe there's snow in the sensor. Um, I do have gear still, as you saw, I was being able to spin gear, so I don't know what it was. It was bogging down, so maybe first gear is just absolutely toast, but as I said, we still are able to move around. So if we're able to move around, we're gonna try to get the car unstuck out of the snowdrift without stressing it too much. Thankfully, we have a winch, so we're gonna be able to winch out. I think first though, we're gonna try to get up on the snow and use some traction boards. So we're gonna try that, try some traction boards, see if we can get up on the snow and get out of here, because the rocks are only like a meter that way. So we're gonna do that. If that doesn't work, we're gonna go ahead and winch off of a rock over there. And if that obviously doesn't work, we can winch off to a Jeep, but we're gonna try winching off, because we might as well, since we, um, now we're throwing all the fun codes in the car. The car is over there, and well, as you saw, those uh, traction boards just did not work. Uh, when you're that deep, high centered, maybe if you tried forward, it might work. But you know what's more fun? Winching off this rock. So we're gonna run um, a tree saver and then another line to my winch over there. And we're gonna slowly pull the car kind of up, hopefully onto this rocky patch here, where then I can drive out. After excavating the snow from around the rock and securing the tree saver on it, we connected the Forester's winch line and started winching. Maintaining the RPMs for the power, the winch was working hard. Yet, we still didn't move until the snow eventually gave way. Slowly, we ascended up the traction boards and emerged from the snowy hole. With the Forster now on top of the snow, we rearranged the traction boards for another winch pull, advancing the vehicle a good meter. However, our once secure winch point suddenly let go. Now positioned on the snow with the traction boards, we decided to give driving another shot. Gradually, meter by meter, we forged ahead, maneuvering the traction boards until we reached solid ground. Well, there we go. We got the Forster unstuck while it was throwing a transmission code. So as I said, it's an electronic solenoid problem. I have all my gears, we just checked that. We just checked if there's any leaks or any connections and nothing seems to be causing that issue. So what we're gonna do is, well, we're gonna call this video a little short. At least we gotta have a little bit of fun in that snow drift, but we're gonna start to head back on Transalta. I don't know what's gonna happen, if it's gonna get mad. As I said, we've only driven around here, so maybe there's something that as soon as we get up to speed, it's gonna get mad. But we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna keep it in drive and we're just gonna kind of make our way up and uh, back to the trailhead that we just got to like, an hour ago. It did take a little while, but I think that was a lot of fun figuring out while attaching myself to a rock. We did that all solo too. It was just with traction boards. So it's pretty cool to kind of go ahead and see what we're able to do essentially solo without any rescue because we didn't need any of the juice. We were able to get move through the snow drift pretty well, but it is getting kind of packed and hard. So the snow is kind of not great to play in and it's going to only get worse. So Cross our fingers, we get more snow adventures, but we don't know with this kind of weather nowadays. So we'll go ahead, hit the road, and hopefully get back to the trailhead. As we made our journey back, we could tell something wasn't right. Climbing the hill, the car refused to shift gears, laboring its way upward.
and ascending down the trail, the issue persists as it refused to shift up either, locking the car in what I think was third gear. Nonetheless, determined to reach the trailhead, we press forwards. Navigating through the frozen, overflowing river, we eventually arrive back at our starting point. And well, we made it back. Look at that. The Forester made it down the trail, no problem. That was just blinking at me the whole time. Um, as I said, I thought we didn't have first gear when we were playing in the snow. As I was going up that hill, we actually did notice that there was no first gear. It was not downshifting, but I seem to have all the gears above that. So I'll have to look at what is going on that make it shift in the first gear and we can kind of troubleshoot that way. With that being said, you guys are going to be looking for us to the next video where we actually figure out what's wrong with this because that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. We're going to figure out what's wrong with Scar because, well, we need to, to go on more adventures. So that's the plan. So stay tuned to that and we'll stay tuned to more winter adventures once we finally get this fixed. We had to go to play in the snow before, well, it's starting to melt. Um, so that was a lot of fun. So I will see you guys probably diagnosing this car in the next video.